Sony's new handheld, the PlayStation Portal, just showed up and many reviewers have already gotten their hands on this device, expressing their immediate impression of this gaming handheld. However, at this prime stage of gaming handhelds, people would have loved to see a device similar to the PSP, which can function independently without the help of an entire gaming system. But it seems Sony just disappointed us by bringing a remote play handheld device. Nevertheless, gamers are extremely dissatisfied as the device fails to fulfill its primary function of providing a satisfactory handheld gaming experience. Let us find out why. Did you know that 73% of visitors are more likely to make their purchases soon after watching a product video? This makes it necessary to have a product demonstration or promo video for showcasing your product's potential values and benefits. At Product Video Studio, we are equipped with camera gear, tools, and most importantly, expertise to make your video captivating and engaging. Just send your products and we'll handle the rest. Contact us today to create something amazing together. To begin with, the majority of handheld gaming enthusiasts were not fond of the concept behind the remote play system. This is due to the necessity of having an additional device to execute the game, as seen with the PS Portal relying on the PS5. It's worth noting that owning a PS5 is a requirement for engaging in gaming through the Portal. So if you don't already own a PS5, then PlayStation Portal is simply just not for you. In this case, there are plenty of other alternative options if you are looking for handhelds similar to PlayStation Portal. And some might offer an even better user experience, minus the DualSense controller that PS Portal has. According to many reviewers, it's the only good feature that exists in PS Portal. Among some of the popular alternative options, Logitech G Cloud is easily one of the first choices. Unlike the PlayStation Portal, it can do both cloud gaming and remote play simultaneously. Besides, it runs the Android operating system, and you can also play games from various platforms such as Steam, Xbox, Game Cloud, and many more. Similarly, Razer Edge would also make a nice alternative fit for the PlayStation Portal. Just like the G Cloud, this one is also an Android-based handheld device running cloud gaming functionality. But what makes the Razer Edge unique is its display, which is the 144Hz 6.8-inch AMOLED panel. Yes, it's a perfect Android gaming handheld for those who are looking for a higher refresh rate gaming experience. And the other one is your very own smartphone. Yes, if you own a PS5, then you can easily play your PS5 games on your phone or other devices like a tablet using the PS Remote Play feature. So yes, smartphones and tablets can be a good alternative too. All you need is a good internet connection. Although these handhelds offer more in terms of functionality, there are limitations. First of all, you won't be able to play any PS5 exclusive games unless the game is available for PC. On top of that, both these alternative models are a bit pricey compared to PS Portal. The Logitech G Cloud costs around $299.99 and the Razer Edge costs around $399. On the other hand, the PlayStation Portal costs only $199.99, which actually makes sense, because you have to get a PS5, or maybe you already owned one previously, which costs an additional $499.99. If the PlayStation Portal was another $399 or $499 handheld, then it would have faced even more negative impressions. In the end, PlayStation Portal is not the type of device that handheld enthusiasts are looking forward to. If we look at other handheld devices such as Ion Neo 2 and One X Player Mini, then we will see people are more into handheld gaming PCs instead of cloud gaming Android devices, because these handhelds simply cannot function on their own, and it eventually interrupts the main purpose of these devices, which is on-the-go gaming in a small portable device. You might be able to game on a remote play handheld like PlayStation Portal, but having another entire gaming system running in the background is simply not worth it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in our next video.